What's up everybody, I'm Eric Hansen with Backpacking TV. Today I'm happy to be bringing you another in-depth, unbiased gear review. Today on the channel, I'm going to be breaking down the Mystery Ranch TerraFrame 65 liter backpack. Now, obviously purchasing a backpack is a huge part of the backpacking world and getting going with backpacking. And uh, having a good fitting backpack that fits you is incredibly important. So I am honestly super passionate about helping people make the right gear decisions for them, whatever it might be. And uh, I hope that today's review really helps you out. So with that, let's break down the Mystery Ranch TerraFrame 65 liter backpack right now. So right off the bat, the Mystery Ranch TerraFrame backpack is on the beefy end of the scale. This is a super hardcore backpack. And uh, honestly, it's one of my favorites I've ever used. But it's not for the faint of heart. This thing is a load hauler. And uh, I, I think it's got so many merits, but this backpack might not be for everybody. I do wanna say what Mystery Ranch has to say about this backpack. So let's, let's hear from them. The Mystery Ranch TerraFrame is an expandable load hauler for your biggest mountain adventures. The new TerraFrame 65 is for mountain zealots who need options when going big. We've offered the overload feature in hunting and military packs for years, yet backcountry climbers, fishermen, guides, and others have been asking for a mountain-inspired version of this versatile, load-taming design. Featuring rigid, carbon fiber frame stays, the suspension allows an ideal amount of torsional flex while providing ample support for loads up to 150 pounds. The quick attach frame cap hardware provides easier overload feature conversion, top loading shroud with full bag zippered panel access around back pockets, two external long pockets for ease of organization, internal compression straps, two full length side zip access, convertible day pack lid with porting for hydration and stretch woven water bottle pockets. The TerraFrame weighs in at 5.7 pounds and retails for $400. So I am really familiar with this backpack because I have been using it heavily for over a year now. And uh, I, with that intimate use comes a lot of knowledge and details, and I have a lot of thoughts uh, about this backpack. And honestly, just right off the bat, it is, again, one of my favorite backpacks. But it is not, again, a perfect backpack, and it's not for everybody. Right off the bat, one thing you'll notice is that weighing in at 5.7 pounds, that's honestly pretty heavy for a backpack when there's nothing in it. But what are you actually getting with that weight? Well. There are so many features to this backpack to justify the weight, at least in my eyes. But uh, there are buckles everywhere, which is part of what's going to be adding weight to it. Um, and the main thing is gonna come in right here in this frame system, which is honestly pretty ingenious with what it can do. But you can detach this here. More buckles and you can open this fully up. Now, this is what they call their overload design, their overload capability. So uh, let's say I'm a hunter and I wanna take this bag on a hunt. I get an elk or some, some game, and now where am I gonna haul out all the meat from? Well, this would be where it is. Now, this is a backpacking backpack and not a hunting pack, but that's where it came from, from their, really from their hunting-inspired backpacks. Where might it come in handy for me? Well. I like to do things like go climbing or go pack rafting. And carrying pack rafts or extra climbing rope can be really awkward with a backpack. But this is the perfect place to throw in a pack raft and some paddles or a PFD or just other things that are kind of cumbersome. The other thing that I like is that I actually like for just general backpacking to throw the tent in over here instead of on the front uh, where I typically would carry a tent. Um, and one thing that that does is it moves the weight closer to my torso, closer to my lumbar of my back, which is actually a more appropriate place for some of those things, rather than having it be farther away from your back, which can make for a more awkward load carry. So this is super handy for anybody who's gonna be carrying extra things that are kind of outside of the main core of a backpacking experience. And then maybe something that gets overlooked a lot, there's another set of buckles uh, up here, but one of the things that I really like about them is that I can actually cinch this down and what it's gonna be doing is pulling the backpack this way into the shoulder area 
of the backpack and really bring a lot of the weight that can sit right here, bring it into your shoulders and really help with the load carry. So it is fairly aggressive again on how, fe how feature rich this backpack is, but it really, really makes a big difference if you like to carry heavier loads. I often personally backpack with camera equipment and that alone adds about 15 pounds to my, to my weight here. So I really like having a more beefy backpack to carry that. Now, normally at this stage of the video, I'd say, hey, well, let's go test the backpack. But thankfully I have plenty of experiences in actually using this backpack. So let's just uh, roll that cool little montage of this in all sorts of cool places all over the world. Goodness, look at those peaks behind me. Ah, wow, memory lane, that's a beautiful thing. Let's get into now some of the uh, core things about this. How does it stack up when it comes to comfort? Well, honestly, this is one of the most comfortable backpacks that I've ever used. And uh, let me tell you why. So you'll notice on this frame, Mystery Ranch really knocks it out of the park with their whole yoke system here. It's very comfortable shoulder pads. It's very easy to adjust the backpack to get it fitted to me. And then the hip belt is maybe where it excels the most in terms of the comfort. So if you look at uh, these corner areas here, there's a nice little triangle going on that is unique to what Mystery Ranch does. And this really allows for a lot of torsional flex to uh, move with your hips, but keep that pack right nicely in place on your hips. It's an amazing feature that I think really adds so much comfort to the backpacking experience that uh, I can have a lot of the weight actually sit more on my hips than on my shoulders with this backpack than other backpacks. So I really like how this sits and how comfortable it feels. It moves with me very nicely. I give the Terra Frame a good solid thumbs up or an A on the comfort scale for this backpack. Okay, next up, how stable is this backpack? How does it do on stability? And honestly, this backpack really excels again with stability. I feel like that's something that Mystery Ranch really nails very well. Uh, it feels like it really conforms to my body and it really fits me. Some backpacks, it feels like when you move, there's a certain amount of lag happening and then the stuff is kind of sloughing off your back and it's kind of awkward a little bit, but not with this backpack. I feel like this, when I move, the bag moves with me. The stability is really nice. And one of the things that it does so well is with this uh, tension system in here, it has very rigid vertically, but it moves laterally this way very nicely along with my back. So as you can see here with the frame of the backpack, it's very rigid this way, so it carries that load really nice, but it has a lot of flex this way, which is why it's such a comfortable backpack. It just feels like it's moving with you. It's just a lot of flow in the backpack with your movement. So I really, really like that feature. Next up is how breathable is the backpack? How comfortable does it feel on your back? And uh, how much sweat do you tend to accumulate? Well, this is where I've got to ding Mystery Ranch just a little bit. This I would say is pretty average. It doesn't necessarily excel in that because your back is pretty much having full contact with this pad system. Now the pad system is very comfortable, which I really like with the padding involved but there's not a lot of room for a lot of airflow in here. I would like to see Mystery Ranch either have some sort of like air channel or just a little bit of a more breathable material. Oftentimes in its hot days and the trail is long, my back will get a little bit sweaty in this backpack. So I'll just say it's fairly average from that standpoint on breathability. While we have it here, it's time to look at the ease of getting it fitted to you. How easy is it to adjust this backpack to really get it dialed in for you? Now that is a really important feature, but also something that you probably should only do a couple of times. So it's not the most important category to me, but I obviously like to see that adjustment not being too difficult. Now, uh, some people aren't aware of how Mystery Ranch does their adjustment system. 
So I think that it can be helpful to show that there is this cool little thing that comes in your pack right there. And you can stick it in here to break that Velcro. And now you can adjust this up or down. And that to me is actually very simple. I like how easily it can slide into that up or down set setting. And then I think that it's pretty easy to dial that in. Throw that guy back into its place where it lives. Some people who've never experienced how Mystery Ranch does their adjustment uh, don't know that that's where that lives. So it, there's a tiny bit of a learning curve there. But in terms of actual ease, it's very, very simple uh, for getting the torso fitted just right. And then your hip belt. I really like that there's not a lot going on. This, this uh, hip belt is very easy to just generally fit anybody, no matter who's putting it on with whatever size waist that they have. There's not a lot of adjustments needed to be made in here. So it's really easy to get this backpack fitted for you. Design thoughtfulness. Now, again, this is one thing that I think Mystery Ranch does so well on, um, but it is just how well they do in designing a backpack that can do a lot of things and do it really well. I love their, the lid, the top lid that they've included here. It's very spacious, but it's not got so much room that it becomes awkward to carry. I really like that it has multiple vertical pockets for putting things like beef jerky, rain jackets, water filters, whatever it might be. I like being able to keep things separate. I often use one of these vertical pockets for uh, hygiene items such as a trowel and toilet paper. And then next thing that I really think is amazing is the access system for getting at your gear no matter where it is in your backpack. You can fully access whatever it is, if it's in the bottom or it's in the middle or in the top, which is very useful for me since I'm a camera guy and I'm often wanting to get my camera out mid hike. Now, the only thing I think that on the design thoughtfulness that I would like to see some improvement upon is that they have, I think, just a few too many buckles for my liking. There are a lot of buckles on this backpack, which is part of what makes it so diverse, but I would like to see them simplify this backpack just a little bit, which would also help shave some weight off the backpack. So I love the design and where I can put things, how I can pack things, and also how I can retrieve things. So I definitely like it. Just would like to see a little bit of a more of a lightweight approach to their future backpacks. One of the last important categories for me is durability and how durable is this backpack. And again, that is one of the things that Mystery Ranch does so, so well on. They have a history with working with the military and uh, overland firefighters, wildland firefighters. So they have known that they really need to make gear that will stand up to really tough situations and uh, the backpacking market for them is no different. So you'll notice that this fabric on here is pretty thick, uh, a lot thicker than a lot of the other backpacks that I've used. Now, again, that's gonna add in on some weight, but for me, where I'm backpacking in the desert often or with canyons uh, or everything is pokey and sharp, this backpack is going to stand up to a lot of abrasion, uh, that kind of just durability that tends to, on the thin backpack materials, it's easy to get a slice or it's easy to rub up against a rock and have it just rub right through the fabric. This is very rugged fabric and I really like how durable it is. I think that this is a backpack that will last you uh, decades, if not a lifetime, without any need for repairs. Now, those are kind of all of my categories, but the last one, of course, is value. Is it worth your money? This backpack retails for $400 and that is on the high end of backpacks. Uh, it's pretty easy to get a good backpack in the mid 200s to low 300 range. But because this is such a feature rich backpack, I feel like it totally justifies the $400 price tag. But that means who is it for? Because $400 for a backpack is going to price some people out. Well, honestly, this backpack is not for everybody. I don't think that this backpack is really well suited for those in the beginning end of the market. If you are getting your first backpack or maybe your second backpack, well, maybe this isn't the right backpack for you and a simpler, cheaper backpack might be better. 
However, if you just either have the disposable income to spend on it, or you've been backpacking and want to up your game, this is a seriously awesome backpack that is totally worth the $400 price tag. So if you are, say, a guide or a mountaineer or a climber or somebody who likes to go pack rafting or is fairly advanced in your skill set as a, in the outdoors or in these wild places, you're not going to find a better backpack than the Mystery Ranch TerraFrame 65. I have been loving this backpack and I get to use so many backpacks and I keep choosing this one over and over again. And uh, one thing that I do want to say, if you do think that 5.7 pounds is far too heavy of a backpack for you, I would urge you to give this a try, load it up with a moderately weighed out backpack, say 35 pounds or so, and you will feel the difference over how much easier and more comfortable the carry is on this backpack versus a one or two pound backpack that just doesn't have the features that this does. I think that you're really gonna like this backpack if you choose to go for it. So I will confidently endorse it and give it a big thumbs up. That's my review of the Mystery Ranch TerraFrame 65. Have you had a chance to use this backpack? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Or if you just scoff at that price tag and say, no way, Jose, well, I'd love to hear your rationale and what you think of this backpack yourself. Uh, also, if you just have any favorite backpacks that you haven't seen me review yet on the channel, leave it in, leave it in the comments below because I wanna have a well diverse array of backpacks here reviewed on the channel. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed here on the channel. And uh, I'm Eric Hansen, I'll see you later. Thank you.